Today, we have this seemingly impossible question to solve. Our job is to find the perimeter of this polygon, but the catch is that they have given you the length of only these three sides. This vertical length is 9 units, and this piece is 11 units long, whereas this side is of length 7 units. Also, all of these angles are right angles. Now, for the rest of the five sides, they have not given you any information. So, can you find its perimeter? Let's take it step by step. As a first step, let us label these vertical missing side lengths as P, Q, and R, and then label both these horizontal missing side lengths as X and Y. So what will be the perimeter of this polygon? Let us move this way. So it will be 9 plus 11 plus P plus X plus Q plus 7 plus R plus Y, right? This will be equal to 27 plus, put this part inside a bracket, P plus Q plus R, and then put this X plus Y inside a bracket. Great! Now look at all these vertical sides. We can clearly notice that these three sides together make up this vertical side, and therefore we get P plus Q plus R equals 9, doesn't it? So put it here. Therefore, the perimeter becomes this, or 36 plus X plus Y. Now how to find the value of this X plus Y? Here comes the magic. To do that, just extend this line like this. If this is X, then this is also X, right? And since this length is 7, so this length will be 7 minus X, right? Therefore, this side length will also be equal to 7 minus X. Now this side has a length of 11 units, so this will also be equal to 11. Thus, this entire length will be equal to 11 plus 7 minus X, or 18 minus X, but it is also equal to Y. So we get 18 minus X equals Y, and if we take X this side, we have X plus Y equals 18. That is simply amazing. Put it here, and we are done. The perimeter of this polygon equals 36 plus 18 or 54 units. Isn't this question out of this world? Even though we knew only three side lengths, but with some clever maths, we solved it easily. So good!